Hey YouTube, welcome to this video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to reduce the online lag in Tekken 7 by a frame. Frame may not sound like a lot, but it is a lot. And Tekken Online, people don't like it. So we're going to make that a little bit better. So first thing we're going to want to do, Google Tekken Overlay. And the first link will be a GitHub page. Um, now there is one file you may want to download first and what it'll enable you to do is run it. Um, you may already have this uh, this package installed, but it'll be the 64-bit x64 um, from this first link after you scroll down. Um, you may need to install this. I already had it, um, so I'm good to go. But yeah, that's there if you need it. Now the main uh, meat and potatoes is going to be the second link that'll bring you to the builds page and yeah scroll down it's the zip file right here now it's gonna say is dangerous and is dangerous because it's doing things now what it's going to do is this file um, it's designed to take your Tekken game process and inject information into it to allow you to edit what's going on so it, in order to reduce a frame of delay from your game we're gonna to have to be able to edit it and Windows doesn't like it Chrome doesn't like it so just keep that in mind if that if that scares you uh, obviously you don't have to do this you can just play normal Tekken with your extra delay um, so yeah it's up to you so we can come over to the downloads tab and before we click um, keep dangerous file we are going to want to go to our Windows security options. So type search Windows security, virus and threat protection. Windows Defender will do the same thing as Chrome. So it'll try and quarantine this. It won't let you add an exception or it won't let you go back and unquarantine it. So what we're gonna have to do is add an exception to our Windows Defender. Now to be able to do this, we need to first be able to download the file, right? Like we can't add an exception before we even have the file. I mean, I guess we could, but temporarily, temporarily we're going to disable real time protection and don't worry, we'll enable it again, but we got some sneaky stuff we can do um, in order to put an exception for just this one file. So what we can do is add an exclusion and then um, we're going to want to create a folder that's excluded, so we'll call it TO um, for Tekken Overlay. Add a folder. Boom. Click TO. There it is. Um, the exception that we added. Uh, and then we can go back to our Chrome. Keep the dangerous file. Ta da. And then we can move it into this folder. Boom. Now, what you can do is re-enable. Since, since we're in the excluded folder, we can re-enable our, our antivirus. Don't want any viruses. Nasty, nasty things. And we can extract these files. Now you'll want WinRAR or WinZip, but basically any program that lets you open a zip file will let you open this. And then you can extract the contents. Boom, boom. And here's our Tekken overlay. Um... Yeah, let's just get into it. We'll run our Tekken overlay. It'll look for your Tekken. So we'll boot Tekken, right? Get in here. Doo, doo, doo. Oh my god. Cause there's, it's gonna, it's gonna look weird. Like there's some Matrix shit going on. Uh, skip the intro. There we go. All right. So to ena to remove this fucking like in the mate like weird uh, graph down here in the bottom what you're gonna want to do is press F1 go to graphs and you can just enable that on or off uh, you can leave it on uh, you can enable all sorts of things with this but the thing we want is the to go to the lag manager tab and reduce that shit so it should be enabled by default but if not you can click enable make sure this is zero these are checked click save and you're good you're good to go. You are reduced. Look, look at this. Redu add one frame. Adds one frame of unnecessary lag. We don't want that shit. All right. So that's that's fucking on, right? Like you're enabling that. But 
something you may want to look out for is on the display settings tab what this mod or mod like uh, will do is enable you to run the game at higher frame rates than 60 so you can run this game at 120 144 300 fps but if you're used to 60 and you don't like like weird menu bugs happening you can disable this you can uncheck these or put this to 60 set fps save and you're good but if you want to see what it's like to run the game at a really high frame rate um, you can try that as well so yeah um, as long as these are checked in the lag manager tab um, that's all that really matters but there's also some features here you can enable or disable um, at your leisure but yeah we're good we're good you can save this um, if you change your maximum FPS you may have to re reboot your game um, in order to get uh, that to those settings to take uh, your mileage may vary on that but as long as your lag manager tab all these are checked you're good and then whenever you start teching in the future all you'll have to do is make sure um, you open tech and overlay before you started the executable you're good you're good we're good so yeah um, thanks for watching uh, I should have more tech and content in the future just wanted to make this quick tutorial um, because I know there were a lot of questions regarding this file. Is it safe? Is it, is it not? Um, it's an open source program. Uh, Windows doesn't like it for some reasons, and that's sort of understandable based on what it does. You know, it is injecting into your tech and game, but the online, I mean, it feels a lot better to me personally. Um, so yeah, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, do whatever. Uh, click the bell. Bells are cool. Uh, yeah. Peace.